Uh, you're looking to get your teeth cleaned or get that painful tooth worked on. Some Oregon dental offices are now open, but most remain closed because they don't have enough protective equipment. Our Wayne Haverly is getting answers on the challenges that dental offices face. So, Wayne, not easy. Yeah, no, not at all. And up until the 23rd, uh, Oregon dental offices, they were planning to reopen on June 15th, but then on the 23rd, suddenly all the rules of the game changed and they were allowed to open up on May 1st. That did create some challenges for some dentists that I talked to because they said they really were just not ready at that time, largely because they'd already donated personal protective equipment to area hospitals and they were still waiting for new supplies. The state guidelines require dentists to have at least a two week supply of personal protective equipment before they can reopen to non-emergency patients. Protecting patients and employees from disease, it's always been very important, a very important part of dentistry, but COVID-19 creates some new challenges because some procedures produce air particles known as aerosols. The aerosols that we create artificially by doing these procedures there really isn't a consensus yet scientifically if the virus is is spread that way. So we're being overabundant with our caution right now. Yeah, and those aerosols, they go into the air. Dr. Uh, Todd Beck with South Waterfront Dental has ordered some special filtration machines to suck those aerosols out of the air, and he's still waiting for the equipment to arrive and plans to reopen to regular patients on May 11th. Now, all the patients I spoke to today said that they're not about to take any risks with patients or employees. They believe the new safety guidelines, which also include the complete sanitizing of work areas between every patient who visits, will make Oregon dental offices safer and more efficient in the long run. Now, there are some offices that I talked to that are already open uh, and they have enough personal protective equipment. Some of them ordered this uh, equipment a long time ago and they have had pretty big stockpiles of it. However, another problem is a lot of the employees have been furloughed. So it's a process of getting them all back to work and also to get the, the customers and the patients comfortable. So they kind of call this a soft opening, and it's, uh, it's a procedure that's going to be going on for some time, for weeks to come. Back to you.